hello students welcome back to engineers academy do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning now we are going to solve this problem which says that the log has a coefficient of static friction equals to 0.3 with the ground and weight of 40 pound per feet so let's say that this is let's say small w so let's say small w is 40 pound per feet so this is the weight per unit length so we can say that small w is capital w divided by length so this is the weight per unit length so now if we compare both of these w capital w the actual weight divided by the length is equal to 40 pound per feet so if I multiply both sides of equation by small l, so we will have the weight. This l will be in feet, so feet will cancel out. So this will be equal to 40 into l and this will be in pounds. So the weight of the log of any length will be equal to 40 times l. Now i'm going to consider two free body diagram one of the free body diagram is for pulley a if i cut all these ropes somewhere and if i cut it here so we will have the free body diagram for pulley a and then if i cut the rope here then we will have the free body diagram for the log so now as we can see that uh, this is one single rope so if I cut all these ropes, so we will have that same 80 pound tension in all of these ropes. So we can say that uh, this tension will, this is 80, this is the pull by the main 80 pound. And similarly, this is also 80, this is 80 and this is 80. So let me show that all of these are 80, 80 and 80. All are 80 pounds. And let's say that this is the tension in this rope between the log and the pulley. And we have that same rope here as well. So we will have that same tension T here as well. So now for pulley, let's say for pulley A, since the system is in equilibrium, we have to find the length. So we have to find the greatest length of the log that he can drag. So the greatest log that he can drag for this 80 pounds, right? So from equilibrium, we will be able to know that uh, how large uh, log the man can pull with applying this 80 pound force. Since uh, before the limiting friction, uh, we can determine the maximum length. Right, so uh, just before the start of motion, uh, we can find this length of the log, right? And just before the start of the motion, the system will be in equilibrium, right? So we have to consider the system in equilibrium. So we have to convert, consider this pulley A in equilibrium and we have to consider this log in equilibrium. So if this pulley A is in equilibrium, we can say that the summation of forces along X that must be equals to zero and this is our positive x and y direction so the summation of forces along x must be equals to zero this is our positive x direction so we have four 80 pound forces towards the right so that is plus four times 80 and this t is acting towards the negative x so i will write minus t this is equal to 0 and from this we can say that t is equal to 4 times 80 this is equal to 3 20 pounds so the tension in this rope and the tension in this rope this is equal to 320 pounds so this both of these t's these this is equal to 320 pounds so if the man is pulling the log and if he is applying 80 pound force so with the help of this pulley with the help of these pulleys arrangement we will have four times the force applied at the log so that is equal to 320 pounds 
now since the log is in equilibrium so it is in it will be in contact with the surface so if it is in contact with the surface the surface will apply the normal force on the log and let's say that is equal to n and if this uh, rope is trying to move the log towards the right so the friction force will be acting towards the left so that will be equal to small f and this will be equal to 0.3 times n since the coefficient of static friction between the log and the ground is 0.3 and the weight of the log is going to act at it at its mid length at its center of gravity so this will be the weight so this is capital w and this is equal to 40 times l and this is in pounds so now for log the calculation for log again the log is in equilibrium so we can apply the summation of forces along y this must be equal to zero and this is considered to be the positive direction so now this n is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus n the weight is acting in the negative y direction so we will write minus 40 times l the weight is 40 times l this is equal to zero the normal force of the ground is equal to 40 times L. And now we can apply the summation of forces along the x-axis. That must be equals to 0. This is our towards the right is our positive assumed direction. So now this T is towards the positive x direction and it is equal to 320 pounds. So I will write plus 320. And this friction force is acting towards the left, that is towards the negative x axis. So I will write minus 0 0.3 times n, this is equal to 0. And now from this, I can write that minus 0 0.3 times n, this is equal to minus 320. Minus will cancel out on both sides of equation, and we know that 0 0.3 and n is equal to 40 times l. So instead of n, we need to write 40 times L equals to 320. And from this, we can write that the length of the log that the main can pull with applying that 80 pound force is equal to 320 divided by 0 0.3 times 40. So 320 divided by 0 0.3 times 40. This gives us the maximum length that the man can pull is equal to 26.67 feet approximately so with if the man applies 80 pound force he can pull the log of maximum length equal to 26.67 feet and if we were asked to find the weight of that log that he can pull so the weight is equal to 40 times l so let's find that weight that maximum weight that the man can pull so that is 40 times L, 40 times, now we know the approximate length, that is 26.67. Now we will multiply our answer with 40. So that is uh, approximately 1067. Let me write that this is 1067 pound weight. So if the man applies 80 pound force, so he will be able to pull... 1067 pound uh, log so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy if it helps in your learning